Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I want to talk about heaven and how this time thing operates, okay? I had a question from a lady who gave me some concerns in an email where she was saying that her parents died a long time ago when she was quite young and she's now concerned whether they can still receive her messages and communicate with her or how does it work if they've reincarnated etc so first thing I'd like to point out is I've got a video if you go to my playlists it's under my heaven information it's called reincarnation timeline of souls in there I sort of touch on this time thing that I'm going to talk about more today so it, please go watch that where I explain how um, we can reincarnate at any time and we can be alive now in another body to ourselves. Three million people out there could be my soul. So please go watch that movie, um, that video if you want to um, get more information there. But today I want to talk about this time thing because a lot of people ask me as well, how did I go to heaven for five years? when I was only clinically dead for 14 minutes. Now remember, that was confirmed time. So that was from the time when my ex-partner rang 911 in America until the first paramedics arrived to confirm it, okay? But he already found me blue, so there could have been another few minutes, more than a few minutes on there, um, you know, because it was two o'clock in the morning and he had to wake up and come and find me. So. I say 14 minutes because of that time from the 911 when it's confirmed to when the paramedics arrived 14 minutes later, confirmed. So how did I go to heaven for five years? Because there's no time. I base, you know, I've got a video there. It's called How Was I in Heaven for Five Years? Okay, where I explain this as well. So I've got videos out there, but I want to really elaborate on time today. Time does not exist. We only have it here on this earth because it's based on this three-dimensional round. If you're a flat earther, you might say we're round, right? we're flat, but we're this object floating in space that evolves around the sun every 365 days, right? Makes a year, right? So as we go around, one, one is a day, okay? One evolvement around the sun's a day, okay? We all understand this, right? So when we go out into the stratosphere, the universes and all this, and we see the universe as this much, a bunch of all the other universes out there, time does not exist. So it can be very easy then to comprehend that if a person today dies, they may go to heaven instantly, they may reincarnate instantly, but on our earth plane, five or 50 years later, they can still pop in as who they were. Because our souls are eternal. We must remember this. Our souls are eternal. Oh, itchy nose. Sorry, bear with me. Our souls are eternal, which means when we take into this assumption or theory that we can co inhabit other lives on this planet as well as still being in heaven and other places that we go <laughs> so it is a mind blow okay then it's easy then to fathom that our grandparents or whoever can come and talk to us now okay so this is how it works so for this person who's contacted me and they said you know it was 40 50 years ago that they passed over can they still communicate with me Yes, they can. And I'll tell you how it works. It's all because of energetic connection. Okay, imagine a phone. Remember the old phones before what we've got now, the Wi-Fi stuff? You had a phone and it was connected by a cord to another phone. So when I'm talking here, my relative in a different state or different country they pick up their phone and it's all connected through the phone lines, right? That's how energy works when we communicate interdimensionally with loved ones that have passed over. 
So when we put out that emotional frequency, so I zap into the stratosphere and I just think of my grandmother myself, Nan, and I think of her kitchen cupboard, the smells of her herbs, and I think about the clothes that she used to wear and I hear the voice of her voice, so I remember that. So now I'm creating that connection, which is how psychics get their information, right? So then we think about her that way. It's easier than for her, wherever she is, out in the mix of interdimensional, inter or out, intra. Oh, is it out or in? Inter or outer dimension? I'm not a scientist. I can't prove any of this. And a lot of people can't establish a, a proven theory of how this stuff works right but wherever they are or wherever they exist they can hear and feel and connect and communicate back with us so once we fathom the science of how this works and we have to retrain our brain to say time does not exist don't look at your clock because that's why I never wear a watch because I don't live on time okay I know I've got to take my daughter to school at a set time but I I make sure that she knows what she's doing because I don't like doing time very well because I know what it's like without time where I was in heaven so for this lady who asked me can she still talk to her parents and are they still connected to her absolutely because this goes both ways not only is it the love that we feel for them imagine their love for a young child when they passed over so they've still got that energetic connection to us as well so even if we're not receiving our messages, you know, it's like spirit guides. If we're not receiving our messages or guides from our um, messages from our angels, etc., don't worry, because they can still see, hear, feel us. And we have to remember, they only intervene when it's necessary. So if we're on our right path and we're doing what we're doing and we're going through life, doing all we can to survive in this craziness going on, they don't need to come down. It's only something then we have to look at within ourselves and ask why do we need them for at this point? Because we should be able to find the answers within us for that is where they ultimately live, reside or exist because everything is one hope you've liked today's video like it if you press the like button it's all good talk to you soon bye